I got a workbench here, and I got a workmate right here. What do you think this pile of lumber is? It's a workbench for kids. So go and get mom or dad, and we're going to put this together for you. And I'm sure that you'll have fun watching how it goes together, and then you can have mom or dad give you a hand. What I did, I went down to the local building supply store, and I just drew a few uh, lines on the paper, told them exactly the size I wanted, and I had them cut it up, but it's all straight cuts. That way it eliminates having to uh, worry about getting the saw out at home. And it's all ready now to assemble. And I'm going to go over next door, and I'm going to get Kyle, and he's going to come over and give me a hand, and we'll put it together, okay? Now, the workbench is going to be 24 inches deep by 48 inches wide and about 29 inches high off the ground. Now, a nice size, putting out in the garage or out in the carport or even possibly in your room. That way you can uh, use it for doing your crafts or your hobbies. Now, in order to get building, I thought what I would better do is bring in Kyle. Kyle, do you want to come in and give me a hand and hand me these pieces? Hey, neat vest. Ho, oh, oh, ho, things are catching on, eh? Wow. Now, the one by three here is for the end pieces. And then we have, uh, that's the strut. That's the strut. That goes between the actual legs down about a foot up off the floor to give us some stability. And this is the back board and front board or the apron for on the front. And what do we got here? Oh, these are the end pieces that'll go on the ends, make them nice and trim. And oh yes, the most important pieces, that's the legs. Good and heavy, two by four. And I'm using pine here because pine is nice to work with. It's nice and smooth and uh, gives you an opportunity to either paint it or stain it. And this piece will be the one that will go on the back, which will elevate uh, a board that we can put all our uh, screwdrivers and all that for you. So let's get at her. Let's put this together. Okay, now Kyle's already pre-measured along the front apron here and also the back apron. We put the two of them together because we're going to drill through in order to... Uh, have a pilot hole, and that's a hole that the screw will go through first before it screws into the edge of the table. That way it eliminates any splitting. Now you'll notice here Kyle's using a cordless drill, and it's a variable speed, so they're very, very safe to use, and it uh, gives you much more control over your bit as it's going through the wood, and you don't have any cords to contend with either. The next thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna screw on the face or the apron. Now, I've taken a piece of 3 16th inch material from my, uh, just my scraps here around the workshop, and I want to keep this edging right up about 3 16th of an inch there, Kyle, if you want to hold that up there. The reason why 3 16th of an inch, Kyle, is when that's up there fixed now, you've got that little lip there, and that's going to keep anything from sliding off the workbench, keeping it nice and fixed when you're working. Kyle, here's a little tip here. When you're drilling, always keep the back of the drill nice and level, like so. Otherwise, what'll happen when the drill gets down there, it'll lose its grip on the screw. When you pull it up, it'll grab on. See that it grabs right on because it's now parallel or it's level or plumb to the screw. There you got it now. You got it down pat. Oh, let's flip this over. Now we'll need those legs, Kyle. Now, because of this being the point of where it's going to have all the racking or the movement in the bench, I'm going to glue in this particular location before you put the screws in. Good. All right. Now, what we're going to do is put the braces in place. And we're measuring from the bottom of the legs up the leg eight inches. That's where we're going to mount the strut. You notice I'm always pre-drilling a pilot hole. That's a way that uh, saves a lot of uh, splitting out of the screws. You use those for a pilot hole. That gives you some stability and also gives you something that if uh, you want to uh, put in underneath the table, you can possibly even put a piece of plywood there to make a shelf. I'm disassembling now the little shelf at the back, which will be drilled full of holes. That way you can put all your screwdrivers and your, your different tools that will go down and be kept off the, uh, the tabletop. Good. You know, it's amazing what you can do with a little bit of plywood, a little bit of one by three and two by four, build yourself a workbench. Hey kids, why not get mom and dad to give you a hand? 
And you know what you do. Here goes the tools. Crescent wrench in the big hole. Put the pair of pliers down in one of the smaller holes, and I'll let you put the rest in. You know, it's uh, always nice to have a young person come in and give you a hand from time to time. And you know, it's so easy to do. And if you'd like to build one of these workbenches, just pick up the information by phoning the number at the end of the show. Thanks very much, Kyle. Thanks, Chef. You betcha.